Spider-Man, Spider-Man Does whatever a spider can Spins a web any size Catches these just like flies Look out, here comes the Spider-Man Is he strong? Listen, bud He's got radioactive blood Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man in the chill of night, at the scene of crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man. September 10th, 2013. To whomever this letter reaches, if, indeed, anyone. I am writing to you today, to bring to your attention a grave error, that has been made by, at least, one of your employees this week regarding my online shop with Esther. I have been using online grocery shopping for a couple of years now, and understand how things work. I understand that you use a substitution system for items that are out of stock. This has worked out fine in the past. Egg. Substituting Heinz beans for Branston baked beans is fine, as is King's Mill for Hovis etc. But today I am sorry to report that a terrible mistake has been made, thus making a mockery of your substitution system. I call to your attention an item I ordered online in my last order. An Iron Man birthday cake for £10. This was for my son's birthday, as he a big fan of the franchise. This seemed like an ideal buy. So can you possibly imagine my horror when the shopping was delivered? and the Iron Man cake had been substituted for a Spider-Man cake, I am hoping you can instantly see my concern, but in case not please read on. Iron Man, alias Tony Stark, is a truly inspirational character in the Marvel Universe. He was brought up into a jet-set lifestyle of money, and bred into the family business, to manufacture devastating technology, to be used in war situations. It was not until he himself was directly affected by a terrorist situation, and left in rather bad way, that he was able to see the evil he was spreading throughout the world with his work, and decided to turn everything around, and use his intellect for good rather than destruction. It was through his sheer determination for good to succeed over evil, that he created the Iron Man character at all, and his persistence in striving to rid the world of evil and make this a better planet that inspired him into pursuing the technology even further, and perfecting his alter ego into a true superhero. He took his corrupt lifestyle, and turned it all around in an amazingly short time, and transformed himself into a true role model. He stopped the building of weapons, became, albeit a little, more humble in his existence, and even stopped betting random women, and settled down with his one true love. What a guy! Which brings us to Spider-Man. Peter Parker is an arrogant young teen who was bitten by a radioactive arachnid, whilst poking around in places that did not concern him. He suddenly develops the powers to crawl up walls, and has super strength. So what's the first things he does? He ups the arrogance, beats up a school bully and causes a dear family member to get shot to death. He then leaps and swings around New York on some kind of blood vendetta, attacking, and humiliating petty criminals in his wake. Parker did nothing to gain these superpowers, they were simply handed to him on a plate. No dedication or true heart went into the creation of the Spidey character. He also manipulates the local newspaper into hiring him into a position on their staff due to his deceptive talent, to take pictures of himself and let's not even mention his shenanigans in the black suit. What a guy. So we have Iron Man, a true hero in every sense of the word. A man who overcame a corruptive, lifelong style of existence, and redeemed himself to fight for peace and justice. And we have Spider-Man, a jumped-up school kid selfishly using his accidentally acquired powers, to seek vengeance and stalk some girls from his high school. In my opinion, and more importantly in the opinion of my son, Tony Stark is a perfect hero and wonderful role model for children everywhere. Hence why I decided to purchase the cake. 
to be given a Spider-Man cake as a replacement is not only a kick in the face to Iron Man, but a good old slap to the cheeks of Stark fans everywhere. Spidey is most definitely not suitable substitution for Iron Man. Ever. He didn't even bother to turn up in the recent Avengers movie, for heaven's sake, despite living in the same area code as all the rampaging monsters that were trashing the city. What kind of selfish morons surround, and lets that happen on their doorstep? Well, needless to say the birthday was ruined because of this. In place of blowing out candles on Iron Man's likeness, we all had to watch uncomfortably as the birthday boy reluctantly puffed out the candles on Spidey's cranium instead, and I'm pretty sure the blow was more of a spit, and quite rightly so, may I add. However, Thank you kindly for not sending a Batman cake instead so glad we didn't have to go down the Marvel vs. DC route. I would like to suggest to you that substituting a Spider-Man celebration cake instead of an Iron Man cake is out of order on so many different levels, and would ask you change your policy on this to prevent any future disappointments for superhero fans everywhere. It makes no more sense than substituting turtle wax for a pint of milk. This needs to be changed. Please ensure that my family were the last to suffer this inhumanity. You can make this happen. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Because Peter Parker sure as heck never did. Yours faithfully. Where's J. Parks, Mr. That's Parks. Not Parker. You have one new message. And first new message received today at 3.30 p.m. Good afternoon, this is a message from Mr. Parks. My name is Adam, I'm calling from Asda. Just calling about the recent letter that you sent about your home shopping order um, and the error of uh, bringing a Spider-Man cake instead of the Iron Man cake. Um, genuinely sorry about that, to be honest. It's understandably for a kid's birthday, for your son's birthday. Uh, and as a big fan of Iron Man, it is quite a disappointment to get a Spider-Man, really, to be honest. Um, I appreciate the elaborate, um, the elaborate difference being a, um, a Marvel comic book fan myself. I, I enjoy reading that. Um, I'm, I am, though, genuinely sorry, uh, you know, for your son's disappointment and, and, you know, on the day, really, to be honest. It's, it's not what any Iron Man fan wants. I must end up getting a Spider-Man cake. As far as it weighs out, Iron Man is far better than Spider-Man, to be honest. Um, with that in mind, I have processed a refund for the cake, so that's £10 going back into your account as a courtesy. And also, there is a £10 e-voucher being added to your account as well as a courtesy from ourselves, just to apologise that bit further as well. Um, once again, genuinely sorry, really do appreciate your feedback, and we will be... Um, yeah, we will be looking at what we can do in the future to, you know, to make things, uh, make things better. Really, to be honest, and then and more, more plausible substitutions, at least anyway. Well, right like there. Thank you once again. We really do appreciate that. Apologies to you, son, again, and thank you to yourself, Mr. Parks, for your feedback. We do appreciate that. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.